Obviously, Breath of the Wild is a vast game, and there's a lot of amazing loot to help you out in this world, but let's ignore it all for now and just focus on the journey's start, the Great Plateau. It easily has the weakest loot in the game, meant for just taking on the camps in its own planes, but how far can we get by only just using the Great Plateau loot whilst picking nothing else to beat Breath of the Wild? The rules for this run are simple. 1. All Divine Beasts in the finale must be completed. 2. Only Plateau weapons, armor, and materials can be used, anything outside of it cannot. 3. This will be a 3 heart run in spirit of the beginner area. 4. Champion abilities are not allowed. And 5. Mandatory items are okay, which this time around include shops to buy necessary things like shock arrows for Ruta, whilst only using Plateau gained rupees. This all may really bite, as having low damage and durability weapons aren't going to be too great for the tanky bosses ahead, so excellent planning and looting strats will be required to fare the slightest chance in this world. It's a pretty detailed place, so some of the secrets may actually surprise you. Also, it's a good time to mention that we'll be playing this on its harder difficulty in normal mode, as usual runs are in master mode, but this time would actually make everything way easier, as overpowered early game weapons spawn in platforms across the plateau, and the Lionel can be farmed infinitely for 78 damage crushers. Not very plateau-like. But without further ado, let's start by getting a deep looting of the game's baby starting area, and kick off the great plateau run. I hope you guys all enjoy. Here we are. Luckily here, there's a lot of stuff we can get. We can actually open these chests. This is the plateau aesthetic. We're rocking it already. Well, you know, I like my attack buff and uh, there's only a couple pieces of attack boosting uh, materials on the plateau and they're all right here. All the beetle trees. Down we go. There's only a few Koroks in the plateau, like one like 18 of them. First enemy. Some of these are expendable. I'm not going to take them off the plateau. We use the weak stuff on the weak guys. But our first important step very important for starters, because there's an arrow and a good bow. Good in plateau standards. We have a sharp sword for this. Two out of 18. Get all the weapon slots we can so we can have more weaker stuff, because we'll need the quantity. The reason why I got the bow, these guys. Oh, hello, you see me. One for you and one for you. Good. one shotting the archers for more arrows and parts and bows. Yes. And most importantly, the arrow field. Yes. I don't know what they're shooting at here. Yeah. Okay. Wait. How many? 17 arrows already. And he's got a shield. Nice. <laughs> he's a one shot too. And yeah, a lot of the camp rewards will have like gems, which gems are good for money because we'll still have to buy things like the Viset, which is 600 rupees. And luckily, thanks to the DLC, probably the most valuable thing we can get here, that, but it's one of a kind. Yeah. There's just like three herbs here. And like I said, uh, chests are important. It's non respawnable loot, but it's usually pretty decent loot. Kill him. <laughs> and three more. There we go. That's one. Alerted them. He's in the fire. Burn up, please. Yep. Okay, good. <laughs> that was resourceful. Get him. Oh, he's got a bow. Okay. Things in each. And stick action. Not the rock. Goodbye, Bokos. Nice. Okay, this one's actually probably the worst one. It's a Traveler Sword. But we're going to keep it in there, um, just in case it scales later. Any area with the good weapon will uh, save for later, because those are the weapons I want to take off the plateau. Purple chest number two. Oh yeah, switch shirt. <laughs> well, first, before we go in the bomb shrine, one of the best pieces of loot is actually right behind it. It's worth swapping a tree branch for. <laughs> Soldier's Broadsword, yes. 14 damage, which is the highest damage output for a plateau weapon. Okay, so there's a weapon in there. We'll leave it alone. The weak stuff in chest will scale when we go later in the adventure. Double hit in him. Take his weapons. Can't. Can. <laughs> yeah, why don't you shoot my shield? You messed. Here. I'll give you time to recuperate. There we go. That's one for my shield. Second one, nice. And, uh, you know, put away the shield, take the arrows. <laughs> Goodbye. Roshi. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. Oh, not quite. There we go. Yep, just alongside the wall. <laughs> there is a nice chest here. This one's very hidden, but there's five bomb arrows. Some of the best stuff, actually, we can get. The axes are amongst four of the best weapons on the plateau. 
axes, spiked clubs, soldier swords, and sledgehammers, which we'll get soon. 54 arrows already, like, nice. Luckily, this time they're all sleeping. Yeah. A one, a two, a three. Yeah, all clear. Thank you, nighttime. More bomb arrows, yes. Hey, they do 40 damage a piece to bosses. This is how we get a good item pretty early on. Warm Duplay, there it is. So now we can survive the cold with ease. Two cups. What? A leaf and a branch, cool. Mm, you're getting to the part where we don't have enough slots. We, we definitely have to stop at has to after this. Leaf power. Keep going, yeah. <laughs> Knocked him off, goodbye. Don't go back here. There it is. Fire arrows. We get some good elemental arrows in the plateau. Aha. And this here is the best plateau weapon, Iron Sledgehammer. There's only two of them here. Oh, <laughs> 12 damage, but a lot of durability. And here is the second one. Send the platform up. Actually, yeah, you know what? Arm, goodbye. <laughs> Don't need a hand with that. We need a hand with this. Oh, they just woke up. It's daytime. No, wait. I don't think it'll matter. We just need what's in the chest. Just arrows, why not? And the chest? Just more arrow chests, okay. The guardians of the arrows. You get back, sir. Ooh. Oh wait, oh no! He's right, oh no! <laughs> How is that done? What do we have here? It's another ax. There's a third one on the plateau. There's only three. So we are running low on weapon slots here. We have a lot of good stuff, but there is more good stuff to pick up. So after the plateau, we'll probably rush to Hestu with the Koroks we got, then come back for the rest of the good stuff before doing a Divine Beast. Well, here it is, the third one. This one's more of what we have. More bomb arrows, that's, that's nice. Well, there it is. Four shrines completed, all the plateau ones. Let me get this like one more Korok that's outside. There's one or two more that's just in the snow field. And rock there. Just barely. Yeah, good enough somehow. <laughs> it's very generous. And was there another one behind? I think so. Somewhere. <laughs> and this wall section. Where exactly? <laughs> I don't know. I guess they can be anywhere. Wait. There? Yeah, it's just like so hidden. It's like, oh no. <gasps> Wait, that counts as a plateau? <gasps> I thought it was just gonna put us out of bounds. Is it there? Oh, I see. So they're just being evil. It's all the way down there. Well, it's eight Koroks. That's pretty great for now. I say we go, well, Temple of Time, talk to the king, get the paraglider. Then we can talk to Hastu and come back for the rest. Save Hyrule with crappy loot. Yeah, why not? Let's do it, king. You know what? First thing before we do anything, we didn't get this chest yet. This is really important. The good pants. Yep. <laughs> there we go. All the plateau armor. Now it's done. That looks nice. Oh, yeah, we have a lot of loot. Mushrooms, apples, and even the good stuff. But for food, we throw in things like meats by themselves. Extend the duration. It's all for wind bombing and getting around. And just general dying. Yes. Make do for a little bit. Which I'm sure we can manage. Yeah, see? This, this is going pretty good. Oh, there's a nice ore deposit right in front of my face. Too bad for me. I can't loot the goat. He's not trying to loot me either. We're fine. <gasps> Star fragment. Oh, we can't get that either. Why? Ah, <laughs> uh, all this good loot's tempting me. Give him a seed. Weapon stash. Probably the majority of these are going to weapons. Well, he's going to move to one of the stables, which we can go to eventually. And by that, I mean, let's go there now. Um, Just over there. Oh, wow. Okay, good wind bomb. Wish I could commit a Grand Theft horse right now. Could really use a ride. Here we are, Hestu. Hello. Korok seeds, uh, weapon stash. Three Koroks. We can do at least one more. So that'll be worth it for looting. Two rows and one more slot. We'll come back uh, once we get more slots. Or seeds. For slots. Wait, I wonder if a bow slot will be good because just for taking down Wind Blight. Because for Wind Blight, we may need some more extra firepower. Just uh, knock him down. Yeah. I feel like that was worth it. Get the shrine and get out of here. <laughs> Just like that goat, yeah. He's got the right idea. We can go back here now. Cause now we got the paraglider. Look at that. <laughs> We're just chilling in Link's bed. 
Well, that is halfway down with Quarks on the plateau. Yeah. Amber, nice. Rocks. Amber, okay. <laughs> we got an amber rock. Look at that. Yeah, piggy. Woohoo! 75 arrows, wow. I almost lost track, but that's a lot. Rip piggies, brother. It's okay. Don't charge me. Don't charge me. Parry the pig. Stop. I'm trying to parry the bees. There we go. Bee parry. And then come back for a second. And we got him. Good. Two takes him down. The bees were very angry. But we're about to upset something even more right now. We'll eventually need money. And money is probably best gained through this guy. Whoop. Oh, big damage. Keep going. Give him a little spin action. No. Give me flick action. Good. Three right there. Shoot it. Nice. One and goodbye. Nice. Took down a behemoth. Whoa, okay. You know, usually I get pretty unlucky with the loots, but we got two rubies out of that. Yeah, I think we're going to be pretty fine for money for a little bit, at least. Well, that leaves us with a couple more things. One, we've got all these nice plants on the plateau. Boko, I'd like your bow. And potential arrows. No potential arrows, but... Yeah. Oh, we got him. Nice. Drop damage, bow. We can keep uh, cycling. Mm -hmm. Only the most pristine of durability. No more, please. Good. Thank you. On top, we can get more arrows. Yeah, why not? Yep. Oh, that's that was good. This is like the beginner entry level Magnesis one. Ten arrows in that one. Wow. Been lucky with the chest. We got a an opal. Okay. <laughs> That guy has the final type of good weapon, the spike club. Got a bit more health. Luckily, keep going. Keep going. Okay, keep going. Keep going. Stop! It didn't let me stealth strike. There was no prompt. Unfair and uncool. Oh, well, we got plenty weak clubs. Ah. I just need his weapon. Oh, wow, that damage. You know what? Not bad. And then we go in with the bow bop to the head. And steal his weapons. There we go. 12 damage. It's like three Boca Clubs condensed to one. Okay. And there's only two more really good weapons we haven't picked up on the plateau. By game logic, if there's a waterfall, there must be a cave behind it. Boom. And in there is the second and last soldier broadsword. And these two chests are good. Also some normals, which is good. This last one we will actually... Save for later though, ooh. Cause that last chest there is a good bow and that can actually scale a little bit later. So we would want that to scale. Cause it's one of two good bows in the plateau and they both don't respawn. Take care of the archer. Aha, there it is. Isn't that right eye? There it is, oop. Vocal club, wait, take it. Just like that, good. Don't rock me. And then hit him <laughs> with the good sword. Didn't mean that, however, Drop crappy shield for better one. Oh, he's got a bomb barrel. No. Oh! You idiot. Sorry, I actually forgot about one more good weapon. Um, it's not two soldiers broadswords. There are three in the plateau. We'll take from you too. Somehow I got the head from back there. More arrows. And it's just on the ground. I totally forgot. Let's swap it. And boom, soldiers broadsword. That leaves us with... Three Soldier's Broadswords, two Spike Boko Clubs, the two Iron Sledgehammers, and we only have two Woodcutter's Axes, but it's because we broke the third one. But those are all the best weapons you can get on the plateau and in those quantities. So we have them all, and then the extra slots are good because we can just hold loose things as we get more slots. So it'll, these will help out a little bit. That'll be all really good because uh, the Blights are going to just get harder and harder as we go. First Blight starts with 800 health, and we gain 400 extra per fight. So the final one, 2,000. We have a lot of cores and stuff to take on Meadow, but Meadow is pretty far. Uh, we're definitely going to need a, a mount, a pretty great mount for that great distance. And uh, hmm, who is the greatest mount of them all? Stuck on a tree. Oh, on me. Okay, got mash, 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 mash. Come on. And just for a run off stamina, 
Oh, keep going, keep going, keep going. There we go. Wow, we got it. It's technically possible without the stamina food, but I... <laughs> it's very hard. We got, um... We got our great horse. In honor of where we came from. Yes. Great. Great adventure from the Great Plateau. Only the most creativity on these streams. Great name, thank you. Haha. <laughs> That's three rubies right there. Two from the Talus alone. That's good money. That, that'll pay for the vice set in itself. So a lot of stuff in Gerudo. We'll do that. Divine Beast second. We got Beetle. No one beats your prices. You literally have the worst arrow prices in the game. Shut up, Beetle. This also includes... I need to buy these Smothering Butterflies so we can actually do Redania. Otherwise, we'll burn up. Thankfully, to the Plateau. Tons of apples. Give him a little snack before we leave. Hey. Hey, great. Hey. Apples. Yeah. <laughs> Pack them out. Yeah. And last one. Boom. Get that bond up. Yeah. Now we're off. To Meadow we go. <laughs> Got the great planet. Yeah. Uh, Guardian's no match. Oh, it's spazzing. Just a little. We're fine. <laughs> Ooh. See, we're safe. We're fine. We're so fine. We got great horse. Isn't that pretty great? Good. Yeah, it was just a little slow, but just run perpendicular. As always. See? Oh! So there's something I didn't pay attention to. <laughs> Quite clearly. You know, I'm gonna go to the cooking pot immediately first. Yeah, 1230. That should be fine. And we do need level 2, but uh, we can pair that level 1 stuff with, well, the tunic I'm wearing. So, okay. We can use the archer strats. Or alternatively, bomb method's pretty fancy. This one down here is actually kind of cool. That one, and keep going up, 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 and... Boom! All in one go. That was really nice. We're just trying to be safe. Screw the eyeball. Yeah. <laughs> Safer and quicker. And the head didn't spawn, so we're good. Oh no! We're so close! We were so, so close. Ah, upsetting. Get it in the eye. And safe, just coming down at a good speed. Make in the cubby. Good. And fly up too. Yeah, we're literally just flying up to it. Nice. Fifth and final terminal. Okay. <laughs> Flap to it, literally. <laughs> All right, Windblight Ganon. Time to face some great punishment here. We can do it. Come on, Windblight. Basic bow shots. You're no match. Oh no, not tornado. Okay. <laughs> We don't have that in the plateau. We're already throwing natural disasters at us. Okay, good. That's two. Um, third one. There we go, good. Traveler sword. <laughs> Never mind. Come on, keep going. Two and three. Good, okay. Traveler sword, yeah. Very minimal damage. Oh no. See, that's the big problem here. I can't even see past that. Are we in danger zone? Probably. Oh, just barely an ass, but we fell. Keep going, keep going. We're gonna know this one is badly damaged. Break, okay, good. Now, work on another weak weapon. Get rid of those first. I can't even see it, but I'm just getting the feel for it and felt it right. Good. Broken. Now, we only have good stuff left. The bow's gonna break. Can't let that happen. What? What happened? Oh no. Got him. He's always on the outside too. No! You know what? It's gonna be helpful to use some of these bomb arrows throughout though. No! <laughs> Not when you do that. There we go. Three. Boom. Okay. Got him down to half. Nice. Now you know what time it is? It's slush hammer time. Spin to win. What are, what are they doing? Not even enough time for that. Uh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, tornado, tornado, two tornadoes. Nice, my favorite. Okay. That's two, and give me a third, give me a third. Got him, yes, okay. Now is my chance. Got a spin to win, but the only way. Good, and another. Ah, I have to get three before he teleports. Otherwise I can't knock him down. Got him. 
Keep going. Yep, double hit. Come on, he's so close. Come on, couple smacks. No! <laughs> oh no. We gotta finish him with a shot to the eye. Come on, you got this. One, two, and the third. Yes, the third one. Just a small nick of damage, but it was just enough. Beating with just plateau loot. <laughs> that was the way harder than I thought it was gonna be. When you can't punish him instantly, he just... He makes the fight last a lot longer than you remember it being. You know what? I'll take it. <laughs> we landed on the path. Oh, hi, Hawk. Boop. Goodbye, Hawk. <laughs> Ouch. What an awful fate. And line it up. Yep. <laughs> Baby one, but it works. Okay. Let's cook up food. My preferred method is just throwing a single herb into a pot, and that heals for two. Yeah, extend the duration. Okay, first before we go to the Yiga hideout. Yeah, arrow shop. Uh, where's our shock? There they are, 140. We need 20. There we go, that wasn't too bad. Just keep weaving. Oh, a lot of weaving required. Just that one. Yeah. Oh, we <laughs> right away made it through. Goodbye. <laughs> he got axed. Okay. That's fine too. <laughs> yeah, you can just walk. Two bananas? Why do you need a third one? Come on. Don't be selfish. That still works. Okay. Good enough. Yeah, what happens if he actually comes in here? Like, hey. Yeah, see me. What are you gonna do about it? We're past the gate. Oh, he brings out his good sword. Eh, we're just going to Koga. <laughs> it doesn't matter if you pass there, I guess. Thunder Helm. Now we go back. Okay. Well, hello, Mini Urbosa. Literally Plateau Man pulling up. Oh, <laughs> gonna slowly burn up from the heat here. But oh, we got food. Hardest Divine Beast to attack will be this one. Uh, uh oh. Uh, baby Rebosa, catch up, catch up, catch up. She did not catch up in time. <laughs> oh no. Don't fall behind. Don't tell me to fall behind. That was you. That was a you problem. Now go back. And not dead. Yeah. No. <laughs> ah. Ah. Annoying. Don't link now, me. I think it's your fault. Almost got stepped on. There we go. Take it again. Don't get stepped on, please. Come on, keep going. One more bomb. Oh no. Get it, get it, get it. Dead. Okay, good. We almost got stepped on again, but hey. Yep. Nice. Goodbye. Okay. Here's the guardian room. Uh-oh. Yeah, this room's gonna be a... These guys are a bit tanky. Oop. Yeah. Wait, yeah, again, do it. <laughs> yeah! Parry power. That's all we need. Stop another guy. Oop. Good! That's a good way of doing it. Go for it. Plateau hammer slam. Down now. There it is. Okay. Still fairly weak, though. Potlid power! Yes! <laughs> Go! We did it. Goodbye, Potlid. Oh! Hey! Oh, yep. There it is. Okay. Spears, go in your home hole. Ah! You were there! Stupid guardian. Trying to avenge his brothers. Well, you know what we forgot to do, actually? We forgot to cook up our attack buff. We had attack boost stuff, and we are not using it. Oh no, not a prediction. Will Croton beat the Blight in five tries? Yes, no. More, there's more for no? What? No. <laughs> You're all wagering against me. <laughs> now I'm gonna do extra bad. Oh man, here we go. We're one shot throughout this entire fight. Okay, be careful. That would have been awful. Good, okay. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> Look at that damage. Ouch. Whew. 
Okay. Well, the first phase isn't too bad. Keep going. Badly damaged. That sword was already badly damaged. Good. Uh, we're going to use that one, though. Don't want to break it on the flurry. <laughs> Pass the G. Not bad. Same striding. Oh! I broke her shield because I kept going on accident. Come on. Whack down. Oh, yes. Very beautiful. Oh. That's shock. Yes! Halfway! Get him down! Four! Okay. <laughs> Ready almost broke that one too, though. <laughs> oh no. Come on. This is way harder, though. This second half will destroy us. Wait, where is he, though? Uh -oh. Yes! We got him! Okay. Big damage. Bomb. Come on, use the bombs. We have them. Only two, though. Why is he all the way up there? I can't do anything from here. Okay, switch to wood. Switch to wood. Okay. Yes! Okay, that's great. Just go high damage in here. We got this. Yes, we did get it! It just got a shield, though. Yes. Okay, shoot him. No! That parry move is the worst! I backflipped the pair. I think I'm supposed to side hop that one. I'm not too sure. Oh no. If it's not the first time, it's a death loop. It always has the death loop with this guy. Now he's there. Get the closest one. What? What? It didn't pull it off the ground. It was not going up, I swear. Good. Whew. Risky, I, I should say. Come on, he's so close now. We did it. Got him twice. We did it! Wait, this could be it. Get him? Two, three. Oh no, not damn. Oh no, crap. Finish him with the bomb. Yes, we did it! With the bomb! The bomb finish! Wow. Only took us two deaths to do that. That was awesome. Thunder Blight with plateau weapons. He must be ashamed. Like, that's that's awful. Congrats, believers. Yes. Thank you for who believed in me. Uh Naboris is complete. Um I say before we go to Ruda though, we should stock up just slightly on at least bows. Weapons will have to wait for a blood moon to get some of the better ones, but we can get some weaker stuff before that. Yeah, quickly stock up, then we'll go to Ruda. Oh, Blue Boko. I think it's because they're scaling now. Blast them off. <laughs> Goodbye, all the Bokos. Oh, besides you. Okay. No. <laughs> Take his meat. It's nice to be looting again. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we could use that. Ooh, take it. There we go. Two more bows. Ooh, come on. All three? Yes! I'm the second one. Wow. <laughs> the axe finisher. And we have two bows. It'll be nice to have a third. Okay. Hello, camp down there. Oh, I like dealing with bow guys. Right on top. Oh, we're too far on top. There we go. <laughs> three bows. I think that should be plenty, honestly. Just until the next blood moon. Oh. We're starting to get modifiers now. That's gonna be good. Uh, so going back, it's gonna yield just slightly better weapons. Oh, he's got a bow. Oh, thank you for the arrow. Take the bow. Yeah, more bows, why not? Kill him. Good, take more clubs. <laughs> All right, yeah, this is a good selection of weapons. I think we'll be okay with this. Let's go on to Water Blight now. No spears to spin. Yeah, there's really no good plateau spears. <laughs> high knocks. Basic high knocks. I want to hit him for the funnies. Oh, bonk. There we go. Little hop on up. Oh, baby boulders. Oh, they were trying to win bomb too, I think. Oh, no, we definitely have to get this one bomb. Go, 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 go. No. <gasps> ah, of course. At least we're safe from it. That's crap. Oh no, we died! Hearts, not paid attention to. This is why we don't speedrun, guys. And the goat's running. 
He's trying to win on his own. Oh no, he's getting chased. <laughs> They're there, he's there. He successfully ran away from the hunters and disappeared to his own dimension. Okay. No leg stopping allowed. Ooh, spicy. <laughs> we have everything we need. Yep, that was a big smack. So let's eat up just in case. Okay, you know what, whatever. It'll work. We are low though. Most well, definitely my worst wind bombs to get here. Let's make a count. No! Why do you keep leg stopping? Ah. Okay, whatever. Staircase time. And it seems to be working, so. You are literally awful. Not here for a good time, just for a long time. Oh! Oh yeah? Yeah? We're here! Yeah! Woo! Okay, we did it. It worked. I don't care. We're out. That's all that matters. Haha! <laughs> Flipped around, got him. No more hassle from him. But here we are. Ruda. Uh, it has 400 more HP than last time. We still have a lot of good weapons, but... Uh, good weapons in the plateau sense, meaning that they'll take down like an eighth of a health bar at, at most, honestly. Do your worst. Woo! Nice. Okay, let's start with uh, hammer slams, for sure. Okay, keep going. <laughs> Just big chip damaging. More flurry action. Good. And a breakage. Eh, spin to win now. Get him. Couple good hits at least. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, nice. Gonna hide his eye. Oh no! <gasps> we got trimmed. Good. Seven, eight, nine. Still really good. Okay. The hammer beatdown is working quite well. It smashed the pillar before it can get me. <gasps> nice. Okay. Nice. Okay. I think we're going to go. Uh, let's use this from the clubs. The durability club. Why not? Oh, yeah. Look at that damage. So great. <laughs> Only great weapons from the Great Plateau here. Yeah, I broke it. Okay. This isn't too bad. Woo! We got it. Okay, nice parry. Club Wax, of course. Woo! Nice! Ah, uh, we're getting close, but it's paying off. Eye shots, though. Yep, okay. It's only needed. Gotta throw some arrows at your face first. Only takes two. Wall of opportunity. Nice, almost half. One and two. Oh, covering his eye, of course. Nice! Wow, he broke the pillar too. <laughs> That's one way to go down. Extra damage, good. Wow. <laughs> Wow, that was, that was kind of quick. Come on. Okay, we don't have a spear to get him easy, but... Yeah, why not? Okay. We're out of sledgehammers. Getting low on a lot of weapons now. Oh, no. One way to solve this. Break all the pillars. And then, as soon as that gets over there... Good. Now we can use the weak axes. This is why I still have them. Big damage. Launch at his face. Good. <laughs> Still gets him down for more better hits. It would be nice if he wasn't so far. Yeah. He's a little too far for my taste. Beat down. Oh, no. Water down. No, stop. Stop. And he's still kind of... Yeah, he's close now. He's one at a time. One. 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 Two. One. Okay, now we're not moving forward. Good. Oh, no. <gasps> Crap, we would've gotten... I think I got this. We just broke all of them in a row. You can do that? Three. Does minimal damage anyway. Use the opportunity to get closer here. Good. Okay, perfectly coordinated. Just use the axe to break them. Just slightly here. Oh no. Definitely need to restock after this. Alright. We just can't get hit by it ourselves. <laughs> yeah. I guess bombs, because our best thing here. 
Again. 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 No, you got a little too far now. Crap. <laughs> oh, double. Nice. Chip damage. And... Yes! We got him with the ice to his face. That's karma for all that ice. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Literally. It's a new moon night. Uh. <gasps> what do you know? It's red. That can only mean one thing. It was behind this whole mountain. We couldn't see it till now. That looks so cool. The red moon over the blue domain. Let's go watch this uh, moonrise from the plateau. There it is. Oh, wow. Right in front of our faces, pretty much. Let this land be restocked of everything. Please. Yes. Oh, wait. That stuff. That's a spike club. Yeah, it's it's tearing up now. And with the modifier. And it's durability up. Okay, actually, it's going to be really good. No. Oh, we got to take him. Yep. That's normally a spike, though. <gasps> oh, <laughs> big explosion. Good. <laughs> okay, first this chest, actually. We didn't get it purposely. Because if I open it a little bit later... It's gonna have a modifier and a shield guard up, so that's that's actually kind of cool. 14 parry power on the plateau, that's good. A lot of XP points gained there. <laughs> Let's try it. Open it up for a soldier's bow. The thing about that chest is that was not a soldier's bow, that was a traveler's bow. But because of scaling, it is now a soldier's bow. Now we literally have a 14 damage bow. And then of course, the sledgehammer. Again, again. Nice. <laughs> And whoop! <laughs> with the second hit. You yeah, wait for him to come for the second hit. So one hit and the second one. <laughs> Walking right into the second one that launches him back. And whoop! <laughs> Too great, honestly. Nice. Okay. Just take it. Okay. Now in this cave, soldier's brats are like normal. But in this chest will be spiked Bokeball attack up. It would have just been a spike normally. So extra attack, I'll take it. That's our strongest bow now. That's awesome. Yeah, already it's looking pretty nice. Oh, we're full. We can throw away some stuff. Or now that you mention it, I have all really good stuff already. I mean, besides the axes, we can get rid of some of those. Oh, that that Boko teared up a bit. Did the weapon? Oh, it did. Nice. Yeah, <laughs> that's fine. Swap an eye for an eye, and that's attack up. Oh, what? Woo. Let's use a uh, generic club. <laughs> Not so generic. A normal plateau standard, but Whoop. get them both. Nice. And finish him with the axe. Come on, get close. Whoop. Nice. Good dodge, good dodge. We don't need the axe either. Yeah, that is actually looking really good. Look at that. All much better stuff. The good stuff is upgraded and just more of the good stuff too. The bows, yeah, pretty good, but most importantly that. That's gonna help carry a lot. So I feel like with all this stuff, we're definitely more prepared uh, for the next major part of this, which will be Fire Blight. It's gonna have 2,000 health, but with better weapons, let's see how that goes. All right, drill shaft one. Oh no, well, we can't get shafted here. We gotta smash him. <laughs> we're using his cousin to beat him down, the hammer. There we go, dancing down a bit. Don't stay me with the drill shaft, please. Keep getting him. Go, go, go. Let's free the drill shaft from his tyranny. Good. And goodbye. Almost. Free the drill shaft, though. And one more. Don't kick me. <laughs> so inaccurate with that kick. Okay, now he's still just yelling at the cannon, so... It's a good opportunity for something pretty great. Uh, hammer slam. Whoop. Another. Okay. Bye, Moblin. <laughs> Damn, four bops to do it still. Next on the list. Move that crate up. Just barely not? Okay, that's fine. Okay. Gotta take care of that guard. Oh! Uh-oh. <gasps> not to a crate! Yeah, now I'm really playing like a person off the Great Plateau. Oh, man. Nine minutes left. Okay. Gonna move extra speedy. Heads are gonna keep following me, but I ain't gonna worry about it. Oh, and get rid of the shield. Yep. <laughs> okay. Very simple once you do it this way. 
And because that has fire on it, um, it doesn't burn. I don't understand that logic fully, but I am very happy it exists for this. Final terminal, all these heads looking after me. No thanks. They're ready for the brawl, I'm not. I'm ready to get out of here, because I only have five minutes left. Oh boy. Oh, fire blight time with plateau weapons. Okay, fire blight. Double bomb method. Oh, the heads are following me, no! Uh-oh. Okay, good. Slam down. Yep, trickle damage, literally. Barely damaged already. Uh oh. Oh, we got hit by the head. No, get out. Two bomb. Metal weapon. Spin metal weapon. Oh, barely damaged. Oh no. <gasps> yeah. Talk about a war of attrition here. <laughs> it's gonna be great. We don't have a lot of durability to get through this fight. One minute gone and about a fifth of his health bar, too. Okay, here's where we go kind of crazy with the arrows. Good. We still have a lot of sludge hammer, so. Two good bow bops, and there we go. Okay, keep spinning. Yep, spin to win. I'll give him the plateau slam. Boom, and we broke it, though. Uh, <laughs> way to go out, almost half. Lay it on. Yep, okay. Last two shots. Boom. Almost halfway through the timer. Just got halfway point. Yep, weak hit, but still a hit. Metal sword action. Yeah, okay, nice. Don't even need a just like parry or dodge anything. Just bombs. Bombs work great. Okay, keep going. Yeah, if we hit him once and he gets up, uh, we don't do it fast enough, he'll start flying around. Oh. No, what? I called it. Ah. Okay, keep hitting him at least. Do something of value. Keep going. Yes. Oh, can we get him? Not with no weapon. Um, yeah, our last soldier's broadsword. Come on, we can do it this time. Keep going, Link. Keep going. You got it. Spin and yes, we did it. It's the last slice. Wow. Fireblight done in like four minutes with just plateau weapons. <gasps> How is that possible? We just proved it. Okay. All four Divine Beasts are now complete. Looking at our inventory, yeah, we're very low. We just got a couple of the wooden weapons left and it's basic sword. There's not even a lot of stock on the plateau because we just got a Blood Moon. But luckily, there is one major perk in doing all the four Divine Beasts. And it takes us all the way back to the plateau. Hmm. Something else very important is on the plateau. Now that we did the Divine Beast, we can finally use it. Haha. <laughs> we can't use this to kill Ganon, but with this new trial, uh, there's a lot of new enemies. And with new enemies means new weapons. Oh, not fire. Oh, not fire. Oh, okay, good. We can't burn up. Oh, double kill. Okay, good. Keep going. Okay. Oh, he's gonna chuck things. There's a lot here. Ah. Again, about that. A little dangerous. Oh. Aha, there's one. Drop a bad bow. Four. Much better Lizzle bow. Yes, 14 damage. These are some of the better ones we can get. Hello. <laughs> He's looking right at me. Oh, and the rock. Dodge that. Yes, we are very much so a one shot. And bomb barrels are fatal. Chest, though? Yeah, it should be good replenishment. Horses will have to avoid. What? Oh, no! There was one behind us. Oh, of course, there's a... S oh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff behind here. We missed all of it. These are huge camps. Oh, <laughs> smack it. Oh, bye, horsey, too. <laughs> I'm so sorry. He's taking a little beauty nap. Okay, goodbye <laughs> with the leaf. Which can prove fatal. He went zooming. But there we go. The main reason why I went to this camp is... Uh, there is loot in the shrine still. Well, a major test of strength plus. Just on the plateau. Oh. I don't think it's going to be that bad of a problem. Okay. Good. Okay. And then we keep going with that. Last final jump and... Yep. Hmm, what's going to happen? Hello, Guardian. <laughs> right up in his face. 
Ah, I'm behind him. Hi. <laughs> Goodbye, Guardian. I'm gonna take your good weapons. <laughs> 60 damage axe on the plateau. And good shield that we'll take eventually. 20. Whoo! Nice. Fortunately, that's not all. Hello, Guardian. <laughs> Just one shot everything. It's so satisfying. Death. Oh, and more weapons. Okay. These ones are a lot weaker, though. There is still better stuff we can get. Well, I'm a pretty tame room right here. Then all the guardians drop. Good. Take axes. Nice. Nope. <laughs> yeah, guardian shield plus. Sorry, basic guardian spear. Guardian sword plus is 30 damage. Nice. Oh, we bounced back at him. Cool. Come on. Go for it. Oh, he's about to get me, too. <laughs> Just dueling those spears. Even with this, this is going to help out a lot for Ganon. This should be almost just enough. It is powerful stuff, but it will break pretty fast, too. The chest that we've been waiting out on. Because Soldier's Bow, this time with durability. So, it wouldn't have had the durability before, but now it does. It's back in the vanilla shrine. And here, because we didn't go here yet. Usually, it's a crap weapon. I'm sure we'll get a better two-handed weapon. Long throw, don't insult me like that. Not for the last one. No, no, no. Going back, round two. No more long throw. That was gross. No, I said no. I said no. Okay. Third time's definitely the charm. Curse the long throw. Let's do better. Yeah, attack of 15, a 35 damage claymore. They're pretty durable, too. All this will be very useful against Ganon because. He's going to have twice the amount of health as Fire Blight. But with good weapons and hopefully good skill, we should be able to do this. So I feel pretty confident now. Okay. Here we are. Castle time. Going up the side this time. Oh, pretty decently. Okay. We're already there. Awesome. All right. Keep climbing up. Avoid the turrets. This is an interesting route to get up, but actually pretty safe too for the most part. Just going in with plateau gear. Just strolling up straight up. Uh... Which just means we gotta move quick. It started raining, it's gonna lag like crazy. Maybe not, okay. Oh wait, that was so close. Nice. Maybe we're just quick enough? Like that, okay, good. Wow, place it immediately. And then another one. If we just dance across really fast, we should be able to get it. So close, so close. That's awesome. Okay. Luckily, Chronos Pillar Method worked well that time. You're absolutely kidding me. Okay. We're doing good. We're going up. Here it is. <sighs> At least we passed everything. That went well, but let's save up right here. For the start, I think we're going to pull out. Let's go with the base Guardian Sword. Don't have a lot of food, but the materials will work fine. Um, and of course, yeah, let's start with an attack buff. I'm ready. Ready to go Plateau Slam Ganon? Oh, <laughs> my shield is. Never mind the shield. That was our Plateau Shield. <laughs> yeah, not a great start. Maybe a little overconfident there? <laughs> is that what got us? Come on. Okay, start with the shield parry. And then our sword. Keep going, yes. <laughs> Shooting with some blank arrows. Ah, keep missing those. Good, okay. Learn the tech a bit. Good, okay. Carry that. We broke it. Not good on the shield stuff. Good on that though, okay. <laughs> the weak plateau stuff's going down fast. Good, okay. Damn, beat down with the sword. Uh oh. Keep going, keep going. I never tried it with this. Come on. Keep going. I don't care if it breaks. Yes, it does work. Ooh, a double hit. Get him with that. Yeah, right in his face. Guardian Spear base. Yes, the final one to his face. Okay, halfway now. Good. Nice. Ooh, carries are working very nicely. Let's go with the Ancient Battle Axe. Hit him down. That's good. Wow. <laughs> Spraying blue sparks everywhere. 
Good. Okay. No, again. Yes. Okay. Good. Okay. Keep it in this death loop right now. Oh. Carried us. Woo. Nice. Stay back. Well, I feel like we gotta go with some of the upgraded base plateau stuff. The Soldier Claymore 35. Good. And wallop him. Yes. Okay. We still have the 60 damage age of Battle Axe. <gasps> yeah, it's there. <gasps> Not the ball. Oh no. Not the fire silly ball. Back at his face. Go for it. Boom. That's huge damage. Now spear him down. Yes. Okay. More beat down Ganon. Woo. Of course he's going to do slam down. Hit our shield that time. Can't worry too bad though. Yes. Is this going to be it? This might be it. Yes. It was at the final hit with the Soldier Claymore. We did it. <gasps> wow. Oh my god. He literally got beef off by the plateau stuff. Ganon, first try. Let's go. We did it. Who needs the rest of the world? We can just get everything you need from the starting location. But it's possible. And we now know that. <laughs> After everything that's happened, this run was pretty great. And I appreciate you guys for watching. It's a really exciting time with the sequel coming up for this game, but we still have a lot more stuff we want to do even just with the base. So thank you for following the adventures here, and while you wait for the next, be sure to check out some of our previous ones, as we have many themed and unique challenges on a lot of different aspects of the game. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Goodbye!